And one of the questions sure to come up tonight, did intelligence failures, security mistakes here at home, their lives in Benghazi, Libya, including U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens? Today, hours before the debate gets underway tonight, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton spoke out, declaring that the responsibility is hers. ABC's senior foreign affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz is here. Martha. Good evening, Diane. Secretary Clinton has said very little about the investigation into the deaths of the four Americans, but she is now saying she is the one who should shoulder the blame. I take responsibility. I'm in charge of the State Department. On the eve of this presidential debate, growing questions and political controversy are still raging over the deaths of the Americans in Libya. The president and the vice president uh, certainly wouldn't be uh, knowledgeable about specific decisions that are made by security professionals. In last week's vice presidential debate, Vice President Joe Biden said the White House was unaware of security requests from State Department officials in Libya who had told Congress of those requests just the day before. Again. And they wanted but, more security there. Well, we weren't told they wanted more security again. We did not know they wanted more security again. And by the way, at the time, we were told exactly, we said exactly what the intelligence community told us that they knew. And that is where the investigation is now focused, not only on security failures, Diane, but intelligence failures as well. All right. Thank you, Martha. And it will be great to be watching the debate with you, with you as well. tonight.